And we begin with breaking news. The longtime leader of the Narragansett Indian tribe tonight stands impeached by his peers. A critical unanimous vote this Saturday. And Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with what she has learned from tribal officials. Kim? We spoke with one of the tribe's members who tells us facts uncovered by Target 12 played a major role in the tribe's decision to impeach their chief Sachem. He's done. He's done. After nearly two decades at the helm, Narragansett Indian Chief Sachem Matthew Thomas is being stripped of his title. The executive board and the tribal assembly voted to impeach. Tribal member Darlene Monroe says the executive board voted to impeach Thomas Thursday, with the tribal assembly voting unanimously in agreement Saturday morning. The vote comes 10 months after Target 12 uncovered Thomas obtained a Florida driver's license and registered to vote there. Only permanent and Florida residents are allowed to vote, but Narragansett tribal election rules say the chief must live in Rhode Island or within a 50-mile radius. That is one of the main points, is that he does not live here. Monroe says Thomas's residency issue is just one of many problems that led to Saturday's vote. Thomas can appeal the impeachment decision, but tribal members like Monroe are hopeful they can move forward. Our people are hurting, and we just want healing, and we cohere are working together to bring us all together. And we did reach out to Thomas for comment, but so far have not heard back. It will now be up to the tribe to determine how to move forward with replacing Thomas, whose term was set to expire next October. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.